everyone, welcome to a new video, welcome to my channel. My name is Maika and today I have the long-awaited Catrice lipstick video for you. In today's video we are going to be looking at the Full Satin Nudes and the Clean ID High Shine lipsticks. Now, the reason why I had to hold off with filming this review and posting it for you is because one of the shades from the Clean ID line has not yet been launched. So I'm missing one shade and I was trying to hold out to make sure that I could talk about it but apparently it's not here. Uh, it does seem to be a shade that's right up my street, which is why I wanted to wait, but it's been more than like six weeks and it's still not here. So I was like, I wanna get this video up, so I'm gonna film it for you. So um, there are five shades in this full satin nude line, and the full satin lipsticks by Catrice, I already did a video on when they launched, I think last year, or was it the Demi Mattes that launched first? Anyways, I have plenty of Catrice lipstick videos already out, so I'll make sure to link those in the uh, description box down below, and I will make sure to link the full satin lipstick review right here, so you can have a look at it. So I already know how these wear and what they are like. These are a creamy formula that looks a little bit shiny on the lips. They are not as long lasting as the Demi Matte formula, but they still have a good like four or five hours of wear. So I know I like these, it's just that they came out with five new, very nude shades. And that to me is always a bit nerve wracking because nude lipstick I'm pr pretty particular about. I tend to like darker nudes. And uh, let me see, this is shade 010, <laughs> which has me very, very nervous because these kind of shades, they don't really look very good on me because I'm so pale. It tends to make me look very washed out and very dead. And the five shades in this, there's like four where I'm like, uh, I don't think that will look nice on me. However, I don't know that yet because I haven't put these on my face yet. The Clean ID lipsticks is actually what I would like to start us off with because these are completely new. I've never tried this formula before. And these are uh, the Clean ID line, in case you didn't know, is there like more like vegan sustainable line. So this has cardboard packaging. And again, like I said, I'm missing one shade. These are all fairly nude as well. Uh, high Shine, I believe that on one website I saw these being promoted as a lip balm. These are definitely not lip balms. I already swatched these on the back of my hand and they have the color payoff of a lipstick, but they do have a very nice, like very creamy texture. So that's why I think that joining forces with the full satin nude that it could be nice because these are super like hydrating on the lips and uh, i'm just gonna go and show you all of these so um let's just start with these and then we'll finish the video with the full satin nudes so i took off the remainder of the lipstick that i was still wearing and we are going to be starting with the clean id lipstick in the shade uh true color 010 uh, and these boast do these shades Oh yeah, they, they boast 95% natural ingredients, they are vegan and gluten-free, in case that's what you're liking. And I'm not sure if it still does this, but they make this plopping noise when you take off the lid. All of them do this. And what I noticed when I was swatching these for the first time, that wasn't really something I was like, ooh yeah, I like you, is that these have shimmer. <laughs> so why are these shiny? You can't really see it in the bullet or anything. But when I swatched these, it wasn't for all the shades, but they seem to have a little bit of like a shimmer running through it. I'm not sure if it's still going to show up. It could have been just the first swatch that sometimes happens with lipstick, but that's that shade right there. So true color. Ooh, that's a very strong vanilla scent, <laughs> which I'm not a fan of. I don't really like it when uh, makeup smells too strongly of something. Uh, and this looks like a nice like pale nude again. On my complexion it will probably be very very pale and my lips like this is my natural lip color this is without wearing any lipstick so i've got very pigmented lips myself meaning that if i put on a very light lipstick and it pulls a little bit more sheer which it doesn't really look to be the case with this but then you can sometimes really see my natural lip color coming through the lipstick which i'm not a fan of which is why i prefer darker nudes but let's see how this goes on So this is what that lipstick true color feel uh, like looks like on my lips. I was already sort of thinking about the next thing I wanted to say. It feels very creamy, very balmy, but like I mentioned, I don't really like the scent this has. 
It's got a very chemically sweet kind of scent, which is not my favorite. And this lipstick is just not right for my complexion. It's got a, a lot of yellow to it. And I'm fairly like new, neutral, cool leaning. So this makes me look very ghastly pale. So it's not my favorite at all. I kind of had expected it though, but yeah, this is a shade 010 True Color in the new Clean ID line. Moving on to shade 020, which is peachy. And this is a lovely peach shade. Again, peaches I don't wear a lot because they are very warm tone leaning and I'm a little bit more cool tone leaning and that makes it a lot harder to pull off. This was one, I believe, it doesn't have that very sort of sh metallic shine to it anymore. Some of these really had like this metallic line running through it when I swatched them the first time. They don't have that anymore, but I do have to say for like a high shine lipstick, I don't find these very shiny. Is that, or is it just me? It's more like a very sort of like satin kind of formula. They go on very smoothly though. They feel very pleasant on the lips, but it definitely has the color payoff of a lipstick, but then a balmy texture. So also I remember when I took off the swatches, which I will show you at the end, these didn't even stain my hand. So in terms of staying power, these are not the best. I think these are the kind of lipsticks that you get like maybe a, an hour, two hour wear out of, and that's it. So that would be the shade Peachy, which I think is a little bit more flattering on me, but it looks better in the viewfinder than it does in real life. It just, <laughs> it doesn't really work very well with my complexion. I think if you have a much warmer undertone, then this can look very nice on you. Then we have shade 030, which is Make It Neuter. So this is another nude, and this is very gray toned. So I'm not sure what Catrice was thinking with these undertones. I don't think this will look nice. Oh, this is the one with the shine. I'm not sure if it will show up on camera, but do you see that on this side, like on that side of the swatch, there's just like some like silver sparkle running through it. It's just not the best. So I hope this will look okay. Now that I've swatched it, it doesn't look as gray toned. It seems to have a bit of purple running through it. So that could look nice on me. Not gonna lie, I do like a good cool tone leaning neutral very often. So I don't know about you, but it's like this shade disappeared on my lips. Like it doesn't do anything for me. Like it even, like, I don't know. This is a very strange, strange shade. <laughs> I'm not sure I feel about this one. I thought because it has a little bit of plum running through it in a swatch, it could look nice, but no, this is not my kind of shade at all. Um, I don't notice any of the sparkle on my lips, so that's good. That's really nice. But I was like putting it on and I was like, it's not making any difference <laughs> on my face whatsoever. So make it neuter. Uh, no, you, you are not working for me, I'm afraid. Then we have 040, which is Nude Beach, and this does look like something that I might like because that has a bit more like a brownie plum, like it looks so much darker than anything I've already swatched, so I hope this can work. Um, yeah, this is more like a mauve kind of plum. And this again doesn't have that weird sparkle running through it, so I do quite like that shade. This may This may be successful, but I do feel that out of these four that I've swatched so far, this is the one that feels the most like a lip balm when it goes on as a swatch. So this is probably also the least like long lasting on me. So here we have Nude Beach and where the previous shade, Make It Neuter, just kind of disappeared because it was too light on me. I feel that this is very much like a my lips but better kind of shade. It's a little bit darker and I just feel that it just goes from super light to super dark within the range like super quickly. Like I would have liked something to be a little bit more in between these two shades. Perhaps, you know, if you were to put this one on top of that one, it can still work, but why would I have to pay for two lipsticks if you could have just had that shade? Like, there are so many better neutral lipstick colors on the market for sure, because I again feel the undertone of this just isn't the most flattering on me. It's just, I don't know. What do you think? I'm not too sure about this. I, I still think of the ones I've tried so far, this has to be my favorite shade, but I feel it doesn't really go with my complexion very well. 
And then finally, in the Clean ID line, I have Thank Nude Next, which is 060. I'm missing 050, which is also, wow, it's so strange, like one shade that's not available and it's one like right smack in the middle of the line. Oh well, this looks brown. So let's, let's swatch this one. Okay. So in a swatch, it seems to have more of like a rosy, like rosewood kind of shade. That's how I would um, describe this again, like the previous one. Something that I do like, and I like it if it's a bit darker than this. Maybe it has a bit of red running through it too. But again, the other four, I just thought the undertones were a little bit weird. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so that is Thank Newt next. And out of these, I think this is the most flattering on me because it has that reddish undertone almost. I feel that this one works the best, but it is fairly brown. And you'll see in a minute when I swatch the full satin ones, those are also fairly brown leaning. And I don't, like there are brown lipsticks that look okay on me, like Max Whirl is okay. Um, but like, I don't, what do you think? I think of these five that I have, I think this is the one that I like best. Um, but with this very balmy texture, would I actually wear it? Like, I don't think so. Like these were so easy to take off. Like these are the kind of lipsticks where just from talking, they will probably just slide around everywhere. So I was hoping that these could be similar to, what are they called again? The gel ones that Catrice did that I love, like one of those shades. I used that completely because I loved it so much, but I feel there's nothing here that truly works on me like a true, true nude. I still feel that for a nude, this has quite a lot of color to it, so it won't work in all situations, and because it has this reddish brown shade, it again pulls very warm toned, whereas I prefer a nude, a nude lipstick to just be a little bit more like neutral, so that whether I'm wearing something warm toned like I am wearing today, or whether I'm wearing something cool toned, it can work on me in every single occasion. And I feel that this shade is just a bit limiting for what it can do for me. Like with this look, I think it works really well. Um, but I do think that the other undertones, I don't think so, especially that middle one, it was very strange. I put it on, I was like, I can't even see it making a difference at all. It was just too light for it to show up on my lips. And I actually think that may also be the case with some of these nude satin, or full satin nudes. Yes, that's the name of it. So let me take this one off, and then we'll move on to these guys. So the full satin nudes are really lovely. They come in the standard, or now standard, Catrice packaging, which is this like rectangular kind of bullet with the Catrice logo embossed, and then this one comes in a nude, with a rose gold sort of like accent. The standard ones just come in black plastic uh, packaging. And I'm holding the shade 010, which is called Full of Braveness. And with these lipsticks, what I also really like, you can't really tell because mine is a little bit damaged, but the Catrice logo is also embossed on the bullet lipstick itself, which is lovely. And then the rose gold is sort of uh, repeated in the rest of this bullet shape, you could say. This is way too pale for me. So uh, full of full of braveness for sure, because it takes quite a lot of balls for me to wear it. Like I'm gonna swatch these underneath the uh, clean ID so you can see how all the shades line up. But as you can see here, this has a little bit more pink almost running through it. And it's just very, very light. It's much lighter even than the 010 True Color from the Clean ID line, so mm, not so sure about this. Let's put it on. Oh. <laughs> so that's full of braveness, and again, in the viewfinder I feel it works a lot better than in real life, because in real life I can see my natural lip color just coming through this, like there's no tomorrow. Like I had to like over like overline my lips with this just to make sure there was no weird like red edge anywhere so that it kind of looks okay. It it's okay, but since I'm pretty fair and then I'm also wearing a beige sweater today because I was like I want to wear something neutral tone so you can really see these lipsticks. 
it just makes me look completely washed out. Like it's that my eyes still have something going for me. Like I'm even wearing like a pink tone kind of blush, which on the camera you can't really see that well, but I feel that it just drains all the life out of my face, which, which is why I find nude lipsticks very, very difficult on me. Like if I whip out, like if I were to put on a red lipsticks, instantly it's like, boom, yeah, there's life to my face. But with this, it's like, when did you die? You know, when when did you take your last breath? Because that's, this is like that concealer lip thing that was like hip and happening like a decade ago. Like who remembers that concealer lips? Like we had a moment there, people, but this is this is not my shade, not my shade. Lovely texture though, by the way. <laughs> Do have to, of course, rate these lipsticks for their texture, but I already mentioned at the start of the video, the full satins have a very lovely sort of like, like satiny kind of finish, very wearable, but not the most long lasting. I find the Demi Mattes to be the longest lasting for sure in Catrice's line. These are really nice, but this shade, man. Ooh. Let's see if we have better luck with 020. So now we're moving on to 020, which is full of strength. And did I mention already that all of these look very brown? This is like a beigey brown. Like this looks quite pink toned on this watch. I think this may be like one of those yellow toned beigey kind of nude shades that some people really like. They just never look right on me. So let's see how this goes. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe it's definitely like a darker version of the first shade. So this, ooh. Swatching it out makes me like it a lot better. Like in the bullet, this looks very yellow, but I don't really see it in a swatch. Huh. Not sure what's going on here. Let, let's just try it on. So there we have Full of Strength. And it's again, a little bit too nude for me but this is, we're, 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 we're verging into the right direction. Like we're, we're getting there, you could say. So again, I think that if you have a slightly warmer undertone than I do, then this could be a very nice nude on you, on me. Again, in the viewfinder, I like it a lot better than what I see in real life. But like I mentioned, we're getting there. I just, I just need a little bit more like rosiness to a shade like this. It's a very beigey kind of shade, which doesn't always work on everyone. So I, I think again that with my complexion, it's already putting a little bit more color into my face. So it's not making me look very dead, but we're not quite there yet. So we're moving on to shade 030 and 030 is full of attitude. And since these just seem to be getting a little darker with every step we take, I think this may be nice. Even though again, if I look at this in the bullet, I'm like, eh, stay away from it. It looks very sort of like, Maybe like a yellow toned version of Velvet Teddy. Doesn't MAC have a, have a lipstick called Yash? I remember looking into that and I was like, Ugh. I put it on in store and I was like, I should not buy this. So let's see how this goes. Ooh, it's a lot more brown toned than the other ones. Do you see that these two still have a bit of pink to it and this is leaning far more brown, far more brown. Uh, this may be too warm for me. It's got more of like a peachy undertone almost. We'll see. So that's 030, full of attitude. Again, in the viewfinder, it looks far better. In real life, I find it very yellowy, orange leaning. And it just, I mean, with the eye look, if I look at my entire face, it kind of goes together because my eye look today is quite warm toned. But this is not a nude lipstick I will reach for on a very regular basis, mainly because it's just, it's just a little off. Again, it doesn't really go with my coloring. Again, if you have a warm undertone, people, people with warm undertones, I think can find a lot more in this line than people with cool slash neutral undertones because it's just not really working. Moving on then to 040 and this one is called Full of Courage. And again, this looks very sort of like, like look at how much warmth that has. You can just see it in the bullet. This is like a peachy brown tone. I don't think this will be a success. Look at that. <laughs> it's even more warm tone than this. Like those other two still kind of worked because they were more cool tone leaning and a little bit more like peachy and or a pinky. And then this one is a bit more mauve -y. But then this is like 
It just, just has so much orange. Oh, let's see. And there we have full of courage and <laughs> nope the undertone of this is also not quite right for me anyways again i think that if you have a warmer undertone maybe like a deeper complexion if you have more olive undertones to your skin something like this might be nice but for my fair pale complexion cool to neutral undertone this is not it and then last but not least we have 050 full of boldness and this was actually what was still left a little bit on my lips uh, from uh, the day that I've been having because this is the lipstick I put on this morning to try it out, to test it out and I have been wearing this since like 10 a.m. this morning so that's been like five hours of wear and definitely those five hours there was still a little bit left but not a whole lot so this is the kind of lipstick that like after lunchtime and a full work day you would have to sort of touch up and this I picked this morning to wear because it's like a rosy sort of brown tone so I'm very curious to see how it will compare to the clean ID one because I have a feeling that these shades are quite similar so let me make sure I get this right Ooh, no it's got a lot more red do you see that Woo! no wonder it looks nice on me like if something has more like a reddish undertone it usually works um, so yeah this is a uh, full of boldness I believe so this may be the only one that truly works on me Don't say I told you so. I, I knew this was going to be the best one for me. That's why I picked it this morning. The full of boldness is this is this this is my kind of lipstick. This is what I like. For some people, this may not really look like a nude, but do you just see that this brings something to my face, to my overall look, that the other ones just didn't? So I think that out of all ten of these, uh, where's the other one? No. Out of these 10, like, the two darkest ones are the only ones that really bring me what I want from a nude lipstick, which is still a little bit of life to my face. Um, so from the ultra, ultra High Shine lipstick, from the Clean ID line, Thank You, Next, which is 060, is like the only one I would want to keep. And from this Full Satin Nude line, I would only keep 050, Full of Boldness for sure. The other ones not the undertones for me. So this is definitely, for both of these lines, I would recommend going into store and swatching them. I definitely experienced with some of these nudie shades that they looked a little differently swatched than what they looked like in the bullet. And of course, on a skin swatch, because the, 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 the color of my like hand skin is very different than the color of my lips, which is why they then start to look even differently compared to when I swatch them on the back of my hand. So that's why it's also good to see them on my lips. Remember, I do have a little bit of pigmentation to my nip lips quite just naturally, just what I have going for me to begin with. And that's why these darker shades often work a little bit better on me than when, for instance, you have much lighter lips, the, then I feel you can get away with it a lot better. So if you have a different lip color and a different undertone to my skin, uh, then I'm pretty sure you can make a lot more of these work but for me I felt only those last two really did got the job done you could say I was I promised I would show you to see how these would wipe off so let me take my tissue and they you can just see that those clean ID lipsticks just wipe off like that like they don't really have any sort of like staying power comfortable lipsticks for sure the tones of these, I think Catrice could have done a little bit of a better job there to cater to more skin tones. Uh, I also think that, for instance, if you have a very dark skin tone, maybe something like this? I don't... Oh, I've got lipstick all over my teeth. Now, maybe if you have a darker skin tone as well, like something very light, like those first couple ones won't, won't work for you. They do deeper shades though, but again, if you have a very dark complexion, I'm not sure something like this is gonna work. So yeah, of course these are very curated like color stories. You only have five shades in the full satin and you have six in the clean ID. 
Um, so it could very well be that if these are very successful that they end up extending the shade ranges. That's something that Catrice does very often. They also very often take out shades and then put in different ones. So I definitely hope that in this full satin nude line that they come up with like more mauve plummy tones. And in this, the one shade I don't have is the, is the plum shade, which I think would have been my favorite. So for these, I think that it's it's not it's not necessarily what I'm looking for in a lipstick. But if you're looking for very balmy, very comfortable lipsticks that are great for every day, you don't mind touching up, then I think these can be nice if it has a shade that you like. Because that, that's something that we do need to say here. If you would like to see close-ups of these lipsticks as well as how they look like on my full face, you want to go back. I'll make sure to link the accompanying blog post to this video down below so you can see everything close up because that's what I, what I do whenever I review lipsticks. I also take pictures of what it looks like. Just this bit. <laughs> so if you'd like to see that, then make sure you check that out. And then uh, that's it for me for today. I will be back with a new video soon. I post three times a week, so I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.